What we are saying is have a heart. We've got to be able to regenerate our people. The people who are kind, people who are cruel, but that's life. You can be bigger about bigger. I'm fine with that. Yeah. 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 Can we now move on to the moral issues of, of uh, plastic surgery and um, why is it that so many young people are now going for it uh, from a psychologist's viewpoint maybe? Why is it that in the past the young people never <coughs> saw a need to look more perfect or more beautiful or more like their, their, their pop idol? Mm. What's happened? The the social idealization of what is beauty changes as the age goes by. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure my colleagues can tell me that the demand for different procedures has changed year from year to year. Also the increased social pressure to look a certain way. It may help to make people feel better about themselves, but in reality, it can even help people to get the jobs that they want or the promotion that they so desire. There are some industries in which the outward appearance carries a cachet compared to other kinds of industries. Mm -hmm. So all these pressures form a confluence to cause the kind of uh, demand that there is today. But you know, some of them are very young. A Straits Times survey mm. revealed that in the last five years, the number of people under 21 going under the knife has increased by 30%. Young people have always wanted to look better. They want to do it now more and in greater numbers. When we were teenagers, we used to look at fashion magazines, movie magazines. We yeah, wanted to look was, like this. It was like never that. invasive. It was never invasive it because we there. didn't know what mm. was available. We didn't have the guts to go to some back alley <coughs> surgeon and, and have something done. But it, it didn't stop me from wanting to look like, let's say, uh, Roger Moore, one of those. So you uh, dressed actors. like him. You had hair like him. Yeah. So that's why we all did, did the curry puff style <laughs> for the Elvis <laughs> lookalikes. Yeah. Right. Now it's in your face. It's the adverts everywhere. You open the mm. newspaper, you see an advert. Mm. You open a magazine, it's there. Soon it'll be on TV. And it's mainly heavily it. photoshopped as well. Yes. Yeah. So since, since you mentioned about teenagers, we also do know that the psychological development of young people, when they get to adolescence, it is a time of great physical change in their body, both upward, sideways and internally as well as a time of questing for one's own self-identity mm. and questioning one's own physical attractiveness. So that's a really sensitive time for people to be implanted the idea of the kind of perfection of beauty that they're pursuing. Studies have shown that um, all things being equal, people who look better are more successful in their lives, both their work lives as well as their uh, their personal lives. There's a study, I think, from the University of Wisconsin, which showed in several thousand uh, that were surveyed uh, that uh, men who are better looking earn 15% more than their non-good looking counterparts, and women earn 30% more than their non-good look good looking counterparts. In America? In that particular study. Okay. So it's very interesting. So what it means is that Visual appearance is important to all of us, whether we, you know, whether we're conscious of it or not. So, I mean, if, for example, you were interviewing candidates for a job and you had two equally good candidates, you're likely to go for the one who looks better. Depends That's on what kind of job, nature. right? I think any job. If, so the point is, all things being equal, better looks give you an edge, you see. And it's just human nature. Even if the person choosing isn't doing it deliberately, he'll do it subconsciously. S studies have been done that have shown that even babies, infants under the age of a year, can appreciate the visually attractive. I believe there was a study where babies were shown images of human faces ranging from unattractive to attractive, and it was found that the babies gazed longer at the attractive faces than the ugly ones. So it shows that our desire or our appreciation of visual beauty is hardwired. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's almost like <coughs> beautiful is good, ugly is bad. If I can draw a parallel, 
people of different sizes, the slim one will have a competitive edge. Studies have shown that. Okay, I want to move from Hollywood <laughs> back to young people. I'm still interested about having young people below the age of 21 who are still growing. Um, is it a good thing that they start thinking about cosmetic surgery, which is very invasive? Well, first of all, um, let's talk about growth. Um, girls stop growing at 15 to 16, boys 18 to 20, physical growth. So in terms of um, when, when a person's features or size uh, stabilize, those are the ages that we work with, plus or minus a few years. So I mean, we, we tend to be aware and mindful um, of, these, um, of these landmarks or milestones in a teenager's growth when we consider operating on them. So if I can play the devil's advocate, physical growth and development stops around 15, 16 for girls and 19, 21 for boys. But brain development, especially in the areas of maturity, continues and progresses. The brain, the dendritic format, formats or formations of the brain continues to prune itself well into the early 20s. Does brain equate to emotional maturity? It equates to high managing emotions. Okay. And quest and remember I mentioned the questing to feel comfortable with oneself. Yes. To see be able to see one in the bigger picture of the whole world, etc. So that continues way until the early twenties. So this raises the important question of if a teenager seeks cosmetic surgery, um, how can we be sure that they are stable and grounded and they are very sure about what they want, right? So mm. our job is to make that assessment and, and we will often do that in the presence of the parent because um, don't forget that if they are under the legal age of 21, the consent for the procedure has to be given by the parent or the guardian.